So I was just saying that I had to come by here because if I could go back and have the knowledge of what's behind or what's under the umbrella of Spill Trades, I would work in aircraft maintenance. I think it's amazing. I'm really excited to be here. So can you guys please run me through what you're doing today? Yeah. Well, we're here definitely to show uh, our trade uh, because you don't see it. Yeah. You don't see the mechanics. We we're always behind closed doors, behind a security fence. So we really want to bring some of what we do uh, out into the uh, out into the world. So we have a variety of projects here that covers off the uh, AME M program. Okay. So the M program is all encompassing. Uh, we're the signature at the end of the day that gets your aircraft off the ground and ready wow. to go. Every bit of work on an aircraft is certified uh, by an aircraft maintenance engineer, supervised and certified. So cool. So what yeah. are your competitors doing today? Our uh, competitors, so we have uh, a composite repair. Okay. So something in the aircraft structure has been punctured. Now we have the team going out and they're out there to fix it. So, okay. or it's in the shop getting fixed. There's a certain set of repairs and procedures. Uh, because the composites are bringing a bunch of different technology uh, technologies together, fiberglass, cores, and uh, yeah, all the forces, there's very specific repair requirements uh, okay. required to do that. Moving on to aircraft, we have a flight control rigging. So right now the gentleman from Quebec is uh, working to tension the cables okay. and make sure all the control movements are moving in the right direction. Wow. It's very important for pilot feel. Yeah. You don't want them both going down, you don't want them both going up or going backwards, which is all possible to do if you don't follow the direction. I didn't directly. know that. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know anything. I just, I, I've just flown one once. I flew a Cessna, <laughs> but I didn't do any of the actual yeah. work. Did you do the walk around? Uh, yeah, we had Watch to walk the, around and yep. then, I don't know, we did some stuff in the yeah. air. It wasn't really, I didn't do much. Yeah. He pretended I did a lot. Yeah, so what the pilot did was a walk around in the morning. Yeah. Uh, as the more complex the aircraft get, you might have an engineer do it, which would be myself. Okay. I would do that daily inspection in the morning to make sure everything's good to go. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, we have a field repair of a uh, aircraft structure. Okay. So let's say there's a rock or something that gets kicked up into the wing. Yeah. The uh, mechanic would get a repair scheme from the manufacturer and then would be applying it. So there's been a puncture to these wings and now they're getting repaired. Okay. It involves a little bit of disassembly and reassembly of the uh, parts. And how are they judged on this? Is there a certain, yeah, there's so a certain way you have to go about it? There's definitely safety items okay. as they go and the process of how they of how they go about things. Okay. Uh, but this one is primarily the project at the end. So we'll take all the projects and we'll go behind the curtain and we'll scrutinize, we'll make sure all the measurements and everything are correct. They're working off a very specific drawing, what you see there, okay. uh, for their repair. And is this a two-day um, competition as well for them? No, nope. two and, and a half hours. Out? We're rotating. We're module-based. Okay. So we have eight competitors rotating through all of the stations. Wow. The side-by-side -side modules allow us to have uh, over six competitors, so we can take eight. We can take up to 12. Yeah. Uh, then moving on to the engines. Yeah. Uh, we've got That's a troubleshooting. Cool. Yeah. So they're going into the mat. They, they're given a specific snag by the pilot. And now they have to go troubleshoot to get back in the air. Okay. So, so if the they go through is... and they're able to understand the documentation, very quick. There's a very quick path to finishing that project. Oh. But if there's uh, but if if they start looking around and they start getting confused and don't understand what's happening, then there's a problem. Then it's going to take them a lot longer to figure it so out. So it's a quick solution. However, finding the problem might be a little bit more difficult. Just like the real world, there's always yeah. that quick path if you know what you're doing, right? Okay. And is that part of your is like the judging team as well? Like how quickly they complete it? Uh, we don't focus on quickness in our industry. Okay. So we want the job done correctly. Yeah. However, you get there is up to you. Uh, we're just judging that the way you get there conforms with uh, acceptable practices. And then there's also a uh, inspection point. So we have a boroscope inspection. Okay. Where they're going to go in and have a look inside the engine. Okay. So the report back to the manufacturer is going to be, we're going to mark them on how detailed and how concise it is, how quickly the manufacturer is going to be able to get an answer back to them. Okay. Because for us, it's all time. Uh, yeah. Me personally, we deal with Germany all the time. If we have to go back and forth three times, that's a week and a half. Yeah. So it's very, being very concise and clear on your first report is okay. important. And that's, we felt that was an important thing to test. Yeah. And then moving on to electrical on the far side. Okay. Uh, back in the corner there. Yeah. Uh, we're testing their uh, ability to evaluate a electrical wiring interconnection systems. Okay. Which is a fancy way of saying the wiring of yeah. a helicopter. But of when a we helicopter? Talk to, no, sorry, of an aircraft. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have a little module and for us, the wiring and the connections is where our trade lives. Once you get to the box and you start going inside of the boxes, that's kind of another trade. That's we send the box out for repair. 
Okay. But obviously the harness and the connectors live with the aircraft, so we need to make sure those are intact. So we deal with any uh, any issues as far as that's concerned. And uh, this is so cool. Yeah, I would do this. I would do this.